This week we're working on all kinds of different projects, uh, doing detail work as well as doing some bigger stuff. We have lots of friends coming over to help. We're gonna go help some friends and uh, got a lot done. My name is Matt. Follow along as I turn Duracell, the legendary ocean racing sailboat, into a comfortable cruising home. Getting ready to paint or prime the bathroom. And so what we're using again is this Hull Guard Extra provided by Axel no Dave and Axel Nobel. And so this is what's called a tie coat. So this is the first coat that goes on the fiberglass and then we can put the uh, fairing on top of this primer. I'm rolling it on, so I'm gonna put two coats on, I think. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how it looks after it's got a white coat all over it. Here we go. This is the head after two coats of primer. The next step is to add fairing to the entire space. Our friends Alex and Marie came by to give us a hand. <laughs> this is an insane amount of Do you want to help us fair? I love you. Will you let me love you? Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Is this by weight, by volume, one to one, two to one? By eyeball. We use our like little kitchen coffee scale to weigh out all of our epoxy products, but I think that breaks down once we're dealing with buckets. Doing this. <laughs> is that one handful? Uh huh. Wow, oh, that's a right. big handful. <laughs> I'm excited. Creating <laughs> magnetic field. Oh. Um, um, cool. Yeah. If you uh, take a big glob like that and wipe it across, then you can kind of fill the whole blade. Okay. Cool. I like trying to remember how you did it. Yeah, well, I mean, like distributing it along the blade and then. <laughs> you guys, Matt is a professional. <laughs> this, is, this is not as easy as he makes it look. I intentionally had Alex and Marie skip the corners. The next step is to sand the whole head and afterward I will go over the corners with more fairing. So I'm not fairing both the flat surfaces and the corners at the same time. Looks excellent. Somehow our hands are very different amounts of clean. <laughs> I found a spot on the deck that needs. I just have some 17 ounce by axe. There was a hole I needed to fix. Hmm. Yeah. Job. Yeah, there was a big hole there. It's time for the vacuum bag. 
Hello? What's going on here? Matt? Is that you? <laughs> what are you doing here? What is going on? Just helping out. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Aladino missed a spot. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a beautiful patch, Matt. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just helping out because uh, they missed a spot on the four deck here. Doing some lamination. And I'm going to vacuum bag it later. Cool. We need more like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. This looks really helpful. We really appreciate the effort, Matt. Yeah. You know you're using water, though, right? Uh, <laughs> pretty sure that's what you do use. For <laughs> I, I really like the application of the fiberglass and sort of how you laid it out here. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Thanks. Clearly, Maya and Aladino of Sailing Magic Carpet needed some serious help with the holes in their deck. We were glad we could help, but it was time to head back to fix an actual hole in the deck of Duracell. Hello. <laughs> We are plugging up some holes in the deck that were left after we helped pull out some chain plates a couple weeks ago. Um, so that involves, we shaped some little pieces of foam um, to sort of fill in the bigger gaps, replicate the core that was there. Um, so we're going to smush those in with some thickened epoxy and then take this 17 ounce biax um, and laminate it over top with some peel ply of course to seal up the holes and make the deck one again. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm gonna go glue this drawer together. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> Gloop. Your delicate pets. Massage. Maybe it's more professional if I use the squeegee. Wait, you guys are professionals, right? Uh, we have been paid <laughs> in the past for doing boat work on someone else's boat. Well, you guys are also full-time sailors and cruisers and maintain your own boat, so you know. That we do. You. So the weather is finally getting nice out here and I have been neglecting putting a coating on my whole extension that I did last summer and it's about time I did that. And so uh, today I'm going to go rent an airless sprayer and I'm going to get some an, a coat of epoxy paint primer onto my whole extension. First I removed the layer of peel ply that has been protecting the whole extension from damaging UV rays for the last 8 months. La Paz, stop hunting! Does she have her collar on? I think she'll listen to you. Oh yeah, she's a great listener. Okay, do it. It looks really good. The peel, there was peel ply on it, which I just tore off, and that had hopefully absorbed most of um, the damage. But it's good that I'm doing this now because as it gets sunnier and sunnier, it would get more and more damage done to it. So.
The lamination's in good condition. Oh, it looks excellent. Before cleaning and painting, I quickly sanded over the whole extension with 80 grit sandpaper. Normally I would rely on the texture and protection of the peel ply as the tooth for applying paint, but Dave recommended that I go over it just as a precaution. We obviously want to make sure that the primer has excellent adhesion. After sanding, I vacuumed as much of the sanding dust as I could, and then it was time to clean. I'm using All Grip's T0170, which is a slow evaporating solvent cleaner. I wiped down the surface using the two rag method, where I wipe on the cleaner and then wipe it off with a clean and dry rag. I'm painting the stern extension with Holgard Extra, which is the same tie coat that I used for the head and the whole interior. This layer of paint will protect the newly laid up fiberglass from damaging UV rays. It's also great because it stays open for six months. This means I can recoat it in five and a half months without having to sand. And I can even apply the all fair fairing compound to it without needing to sand prep. I was going to use an airless sprayer to apply this hole guard, but unfortunately I couldn't get my hands on one. I'll be shopping for one soon as we get deeper into the painting projects. Painting helps us think about the future projects and ultimately what the boat is going to look like when it's done. When we prime, it's really nice to see things change color that we've been staring at for months. This stern extension is going to be a massive fairing project, maybe even for this summer. After that, we get to start thinking about what color we're going to paint the boat. We have some ideas, but would be curious to hear what yours are. So we're still working on these drawers. Uh, last week, we put the drawers together and then my mom fiberglassed the drawers together and you most did most of it on the outside so that it, when she fiberglassed, she covered the end of the foam on the drawer, which protects the, the, the exposed foam edge on the, on the drawer. We were also talking about other ways to protect exposed foam edges. And my mom came up with this great idea to make fiberglass flat stock and cut it into strips and edge band all the foam foam edges. Today we are going to do a third technique which we are digging out the foam from inside from between the the, the fiberglass skins and then we're just going to fill it with epoxy. Um, this is probably the most, my guess would be the most commonly used technique. The reason that I am trying to stay away from it is because it uses a lot of epoxy and uh, I just don't want to use it. I would go through my epoxy really quickly. So in this case, we need to do it because the drawer cannot become any wider. It's already pretty tight fit into its box. And so this is the way that we're going to protect the foam edges without making the drawer get any wider. So. We just dig out the foam. I have a special router bit on my router. Wow, that's very special. Yeah. Where, where did you get it? I made it myself. I cut off, a, it's just an Allen wrench. I just cut off the, ed, the end of it and... <laughs> He's so clever. <laughs> uh, but it's great for just digging out the foam and, and then we'll just fill it with epoxy. And the, the epoxy we're going to use today is a two-part pre-thickened epoxy that comes in a tube.
And that's it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you guys are doing great. I'm really glad I don't have to be active. This yeah. will be a good blooper reel. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We have a couple new Patreons to thank this week. Again, thank you so much to all of our Patreons. We couldn't do this project without you. If you're interested in joining the Patreon community, you can find us at the Duracell Project on patreon.com. So first, thank you to George. Uh, he lives in Vienna and he's learning to sail on the lakes in Austria, which sounds beautiful. Him and his wife are hoping to one day um, retire and go cruising on a boat somewhere out in the Mediterranean. So. We wish you luck in your adventures learning to sail. It's a lifelong adventure learning to sail. So, And also thank you to Lee. Uh, 